How's it going, internets? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation, get that imagination all cranked up, get into some creativity, and it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from Juan Jose Rip. And if you're not familiar with his work, check right over here. He is a phenomenal comic book artist, and uh, the thing I love about his work is the amount of detail he puts into each and every one of his drawings and panels. It's just uh, incredible. Just check out how much. Uh, information he packs into each and every illustration there that's just just incredible so much attention to detail and uh, it shows a real commitment to his work as well that he just wants to load and give as much as he can all the time and it's just just beautiful work and he's got great line work and great uh, structure and anatomy and really lovely composition as well but like I said the, the thing that really stands out to me in his work is just the amount of of extra he puts into his work and the amount of care that he takes to uh, with each and every piece this was probably um, one of my favorites of his that uh, I saw I just thought the, the concept was really really cool um, but definitely check out more of his stuff I will throw a link in the description below because he, he does beautiful beautiful work and, and like I said the I, th I think his his level of commitment and his level of love um, for the craft really shines through in each and every one of his pieces um, but I do want to share a quote with you guys and um, he was talking about uh, and kind of riffing on something that he uh, said he heard from uh, Charles Schultz. And he said, uh, becoming uh, blocked was for novices. So I pick up the pencil and I begin to draw and something always comes out. And um, that's something that, that uh, I think for myself, I don't really struggle with that much. Um, now, does that mean every piece is wonderful and gorgeous that I do? No, but but blocked is never really... I, I have trouble almost uh, committing to an idea rather than coming up with an idea, which is a different uh, side of that. Um, it's the, you know, sticking to an idea till you see it full to, to the end result. Um, that That's kind of a struggle for me, but as far as coming up with ideas, you know, I always am just, we'll, we'll figure out something, you know, and that's kind of a lot of... Um, this series too is is uh, you know this is a rig I've never used before and we'll see how it comes out we'll just play around you know pick up that uh, open up that program load up those files and uh, something something will come out uh, so I think that's great but it is um, something to, to talk about and to think about at least because there there are days too where I just uh, I don't know where I'm going with this but I think it's the part of um, just getting in there and uh, someone was talking a while ago about uh, you know you have that Maybe you're watching your favorite show on Netflix and just kind of vegging out. And in the back of your head, you know, like, ah, I know I should create something right now, but I don't want to. And kind of that uh, give and take of, well, I should be doing this, but I just want to relax and chill out. So you kind of have to force yourself and fight yourself to do it. But then once you're uh, once you're there for, you know, get your cup of coffee or your drink of choice and you're sitting down and starting to work, you know, about 10 minutes into it, you're in. So it's just getting over that hump of um, comfort and being in a place of kind of complacency where you're just kind of happy to um, switching to something where you have to engage your brain. It's uh, difficult. There's a, there a cool thing on, um, I believe it was the Get Motivated subreddit, which was talking about, uh, let's see, my current self wants my future self to do the work and my future self wants me to be doing the work now and is trying to find that balance of... Uh, just do it <laughs> right in the moment um and we always kind of just our natural human reaction is just to try and do the path of least resistance but that's not going to get you very far so that being said let's go ahead and get into some animation this is the arrow rig it's a free rig you can grab over at creative crash and if you're not familiar with what we'll be doing for the rest of the video we give ourselves 48 frames give or take i go off and i find a rig that i've never used before it's a free resource for you guys to play around with as well and we kind of go from there, a little bit of over the shoulder, just hang out with me while I animate, a little bit of talking through the process. But most of all, uh, the main goal is to hopefully encourage you guys and to inspire you guys to go off and create something uh, unique using your own imagination um, each and every day. And uh, that being said, let's go ahead and play around. Uh, so this one, I was thinking we'd do kind of a more shy or timid backward walk here. And one of the things that I really wanted to play around with was the idea of doing um, some pigeon toes so really bringing those feet inward and put a little bit of leather bits rotate that one in a little bit and just set that down a little over push our knees 
lean a little bit more here. Maybe not so much on this one. And now let's push this foot back there. And now let's drop the arms down. here and bring this down just for something that we can uh, kind of do to start off our storytelling pose here you know let's give him some kind of bad posture here we'll bend that over and we'll bring this back a little bit here actually let's do it there maybe a little bit more over down what am I really doing here come on all right zero that out again come out forward and bring that down there okay and we'll zero this one out again I don't like using more than uh, two controllers to get to a particular angle because then you have to start counter animating and all that. And that's never, never a good way to start off here. And so the only thing is we're going to lose our ability to do the elbows this one. So maybe we'll have to. Yeah, we'll figure. twist there, rotate here, bring it up this way, and maybe we'll push the feet inward a little bit more. Okay, and we'll kind of start from there. Is this squash? No, oh, it does the whole body. That's kind of weird. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and save our file. We are using Autodesk Maya 2014 for today's video. And let's make sure we just have our nerve curves, nerve surfaces, and polygons selected. We've got our frame range set up from uh, 0 to 48. And we'll go ahead and grab everything here at frame 0. And we'll set our first key. And then let's uh, start building this guy. So let's work with the feet first. Push that forward. And we'll go back here. And again, we're doing a backwards walk cycle here. So we want to go all the way there, right? So we'll start off with this one. set this up here so I gotta remember we're going backwards instead of forwards here we're going into cycle so cycling backwards is going to be interesting and let's get the other foot here push that there bend that bring that forward Okay, 
And I'll start building the passing positions because I think that's going to be a necessary thing here. Now then you can zero down. Oh, okay. Let's uh, hold the phone there. Let's make sure we go back in and we really lock in each one of these keys here. just by going back and hitting S on our keyboard so to make sure we key all the attributes here and lift it up and lift it up let's see okay and let's uh, look at the root controller or center controller I guess in this case Usually it's Y. Hmm, that's funky. Oh well. And we'll just do a little bit of up and down. And I think I want to go down on the passing position rather than up. I think it'll accentuate in a better way. Let's uh, open up our graph editor here. So window animation editor's graph editor, and let's tone down the up and down a little bit, which is X, not Y in this case. The uh, orientation is kind of funky in this rig. It uh, varies from different uh, parts of the body as to which is up and which is to the side and everything. So that's one thing to be aware of if you are using this rig for your own purposes. Just got to be conscious of that while you're working. I think if we go a little bit lower overall, let's see. Okay, and let's do a little bit of rotation here. side, other side here, and back here, and back again, and let's see. Alright, maybe we'll tone that down a little bit. Make sure we loop back in correctly. And then we'll do some rotation to offset the uh, hips as well. So let's see that. the hips a little bit over and I guess this is Z for this one back again and over again and then zero out and let's clean that up we don't need a lot of that okay and let's see how that feels okay this down a lot but let's try to offset again see how much we can do from there so that way let me go in sixes i was thinking about going tens for a second there let's switch back One thing I might do before I get too much further is I think I might push this back to be on sevens instead of on sixes, just to slow it down a little bit more. I feel like it's a little too fast for, which 
you can do a speed walk back, but I think I'd want to do it a little bit slower. And not two frames, I think just one frame would be enough. So let's uh let's do that. So we'll grab everything and uh, just uh, hit W and we'll shift middle mouse button one frame over and shift middle mouse button one frame over and one frame over one frame over again we're just like and I wanted to try and at least attempt this if we don't like it we can always revert back before we went too far here and that should put us at uh, is that 56 frames yes yeah okay so let's see how it feels I like it a little bit slower for this one. Okay, and let's go back to where we were. We were doing a little bit of rotate X here, there, 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 and back again. Let's see how that feels. I think we're just gonna have to tone everything down a little bit more. I think it, it, the idea is there, but it's just a little too over the top, and I want to want to pull it back a bit more. So let's scale everything back a little bit, and even it out so that we got a good balance throughout. And let's see that. rotates and I think the translate side to side the up and down still feels about right to me so it's really just the rotations and a little bit of the translation side to side that needs to get pulled back and then we'll probably have to play that game where we go back and forth between the uh, hips and uh, the chest so make sure we get a good uh, balance between the two since we we're offsetting the movement there Okay, but let's take a look at it now. Okay, and let's uh, do this rotate X to begin with. Keep playing around. It might just be the arms themselves that need to I need to work with before we do too much more. So let's see. This one.
just make sure that's uh, looking okay. Let's see how that feels now. I think we want to go out a little bit further. scale it back a little bit more and uh, I think I'm going to scale the other hand back as well. Just really on these outs the three should be a little bit less. Okay, let's see here. circular movement as well. And let's look at this one. Scaling back. And back again. Let's see. And then we'll go a little bit more back here. Okay, now let's do some more with the feet, but let's go ahead and save our file here. I'm gonna grab both of those feet and let's look at our heights. I feel like there's uh, one of them that was a little bit off here. This one, take that one, go a little bit further down here. Let's make sure we're on the right frame. Doesn't have to be exact, but we want it to feel pretty similar. Do a little bit of rotate here. So we'll go at three frames in, rotate it down, and three frames from contact, we'll lift it up. And three frames in, we'll go down, and three frames from contact, we'll lift it up. And let's look at the other one. Three frames in. there, we'll go up, we'll go down again, and up again, and let's see. Alright, and let's compare those rotate wise, make sure we've got a fairly good balanced amount there. Let's look at the 
Yeah, kind of kind of visual on that is that I guess just keep a pattern going here. No toe. Guess we'll have to do a little bit of that. Now let's step back a little bit. And we'll try something different. And just because you don't have that control in the room to play around. So let's do ball rigs. And we're going to do two frames in this for now. So that way it lands with the toe. And now we're going to do some ball rigs here. And zero it out. Okay. And we don't need a lot of that. We could probably tone it down a little bit more. Let's see. still get a little bit of that change of shape in the foot and that contact a little bit better so you don't have it just flat contacting on one frame okay and let's break up this one a little bit so we'll do a little bit of ball rigs here one two and zero it out a little bit of ball rigs here of it on this side here. Alright, now let's look at the head and let's tone down the sway of the head here. So we'll go that way. Just flick back and forth between those two poses, really. Okay, so let's see that now. Okay, and then here, let's look at the rotate. Rotates that way, that way, that way, that way, and zero. Let's tone that down a little bit more as well. Just so we get a little bit of head movement and counter a little bit of the chest movement here as well. Kind of more of an attitude backwards walk thing where they shy or timid one, but it's kind of fun. A little bit of a different idea there. And then let's get into the fingers. And this one and do some more with the butt, I guess. So let's see if I can nine or nine. No, that's going to be the whole controller. I thought it would be just a butt controller. I think this one is. Let's try this one here. Steps back. 
back just to make sure that we're not doing anything I don't want to here. Okay, there we go. Now we have just a hit controller stop finding which one that was. 21, so it should be 23. Get that now. And then 35, so 37. We'll go this way. It's just two frames after really what the hip can hip is doing just to add a little bit of variety there. And then we'll go back to this one. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Just to add a little more into the hips. Okay, and let's even that out a little bit. But that adds a little more variety there. Changes up the timing a little bit as well. side and then we'll pull those in a little bit and 21 we'll zoom them out a little bit a little bit a little bit and then back again okay now let's also look This way, a little bit that way, a little bit this way, and then back again. A little delay in the frame here. And that pinky just. 
just uh, needs to be a little bit more toned down, I think. Let's see, is there a uh, translate by any chance? something that'll work for us here just so we can get some movement in there I'd like to do some up and down um, but we're gonna have to do a bunch of counter MA in our shell on our strike two right now okay now let's um, maybe if we clean that up and tone it down a little bit more we can have something that will actually work for us here One of these start off at zero. Let's start this one off at zero. Liberty Gibbets. movement. Okay, and let's look at um, this guy here. This thumb. Okay, we have a felt there. Okay, let's see. It's like a round, it doesn't really do much. I think I might just leave it alone then. I don't know, I'd like to do a little bit of something just for that. Maybe we could do a little bit of up and down here. And we'll scale it back a whole lot too. Just something to keep that head alive a little bit more.
actually go the other way around. So go down here. And let's go up four. Do three frames from here. Bring it up. Okay, and then let's just scale it all in just so I have a little bit of that movement in here. It just adds a little bit of softness there to it. Alright, I think that looks kind of a funky little idea. Um, so let's go ahead and save our file here. because I ended up liking that other one better. Let's go ahead and create, uh, I'll just pause that for a second, and uh, create polygon primitives. Let's do a cylinder here. Yes, actually, it's a bit too big, so we'll do another one, polygon primitive cylinder. Probably about like that. There we go. Just uh, have a little base or a little stand this guy here and let's go ahead and copy it and paste another one and we'll scale that one up and bring it down a little bit more here and we'll copy it again and paste another one ourselves a little bit of a stand here and let's assign a new material to it let's make it uh, let's see what color do we want to do Usually blue and orange go well together. So do like a faded darker blue. Something kind of like a little bit darker. Like that. And we'll assign an existing material that will land with two on the there. And we'll do something like that. Go ahead and hide the grid. Turn our uh, nav curves off. Turn our surfaces. something that we can work with. So let's take a look back at where we started. We were looking at the beautiful work of uh, Juan Jose Rip, and he said, uh, becoming blocked was for novices. I just picked up a pencil and begin to draw. Something always comes out. And I think that's a great motivator um, that even when you feel blocked, even when you feel frustrated, even when you feel like giving up, just um, you know, sit behind the art table, uh, sit in front of the microphone, whatever it is that's your medium of choice, and uh, just begin to do it and something will come out. And I think that's great advice. And it's it's simple, but it's to the point, and it's something that sometimes there's, a, you know, the whole Yoda thing, you either do it or you don't. There's no trying. And um, 
think it, I think that's uh, for myself something that's kind of a big takeaway from the last few days is um, to stop saying the word try and just do it. Sometimes you're gonna fail, and sometimes you're not, but you're at least doing something. And I think that's uh, it's a it's a tough thing to uh, to swallow sometimes. So I think it's easier to say the word oh I'm really trying hard, you know. But I think that's the wrong approach, at least in my thinking. In this point, um, is I'm doing it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least I'm doing something. And I think it's a great, you know, goal. And it's kind of this whole thing here is, you know, something always comes out. Just begin and start and do it. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Thanks for likes. Uh, thanks for all the likes and subscribes. You guys are amazing. Um, remember, if you're watching this, you are the creative future. So go out there and make something today. Um, you guys are wonderful. I love you lots. We'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. More animation tomorrow, right? Yeah, keep it up. Keep doing it. I'm rambling. We'll end this. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more animation.